Big Tobacco is spending big bucks to try to stop a proposed FDA ban on menthol cigarettes. And they tried to here in Detroit. Thank you for sticking with us tonight. I'm Glenda Lewis. RJ Reynolds, the maker of Newport and other menthol brands, is trying to pay influencers in the African-American community to oppose this ban. And as 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner shows us, they even raised their offer to flip an outspoken Detroit reverend. Reverend Horace Sheffield says simply, he knows right from wrong and money, no amount of money is gonna change that. R.J. Reynolds made a decision that they were going to uh, influence influencers. And the best way to do that was through cash. Reverend Sheffield wrote this op-ed in the Detroit Free Press in May. His blunt words, cigarettes kill. The FDA says menthol cigarettes are the choice of 85% of black smokers. But his public stand just caused the offer to him to go up from a person doing the bidding for the company. He says to 250 grand. And I can get you more money if you say you were opposed to the ban, but you thought about it and changed your mind. The Sheffield name is a legacy in Detroit, including the Sheffield Community Center, set up on the west side decades ago by his father. And this is personal. His mother died from smoking. Center does many events during the year. Good work for the community. The Reverend says the legacy is not for sale. Absolutely, but I'm walking in the direction of people's lives being saved. R.J. Reynolds has issued statements about this, including Reynolds supports organizations that continue to the debate on issues that are important to our customers. And we strongly believe there are more effective ways to deliver tobacco harm reduction than banning menthol in cigarettes. Reverend Sheffield says this is more than business. Basically, uh, stab us in the back to basically engage uh, as pallbearers carrying our coffins to the cemetery with a cigarette in our mouths. The FDA has taken public comment on this over several months ending this month. It's not clear when this ban may go into effect. On Detroit's West Side, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.